This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Domain.com. Well, hello there, you fine, fine folks. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. How's it going? Welcome to another episode of What's the Apps here on Revision 3 and on Techno Buffalo. Today, let's draw something. Draw Something, a game created by gaming company OMG Pop, is somewhat of an overnight sensation in the mobile app world, with I believe over 30 million downloads across iOS and Android. Crazy! And there were even words of Zynga, that, that huge you know, gaming company that basically owns everything, including words with friends, being interested in buying the thing. Nuts! Draw Something is basically Pictionary simplified and mobilized, geared towards users of all ages. You can log in via Facebook, which is handy, or you can make an account with a one to two step simplified process. To play, all you gotta do is find a friend via Facebook, username, email, or you can even challenge a random player, which could be quite fun. When it's your turn, you choose a word and start drawing. The stars indicate the difficulty of the word. If your friend guesses your word correctly, you and your friend both get an equal amount of stars, which can be used to buy additional add-on colors. Drawing something definitely has to be the best part of the game, draw something. See what I did there? The drawing part is very, very bare bones, no mobile Photoshop here, but I believe it adds to the fun. You can adjust both brush sizes and colors. You also have an erase tool and trash tool, which clears your canvas. Guessing is also pretty neat. You're given a handful of letters that make up the word, so it kind of adds a funky Scrabble-ish element to the game. The game is incredibly fun and very, very addictive. Game concept wise, solid 5 out of 5, you know, clap, clap, pat myself on the back, fist pump till the sun goes down. but. Execution wise, there were a few flaws, at least in my opinion. When it's your turn to guess, you're forced to watch the previous round with the choice to skip. I feel that you should go right into the gameplay, with the option to watch the previous round if you wanted to. On top of that, you have to watch a animation that you can't skip, no matter what. While watching the drawing, there's no way to pause, rewind, fast forward, or replay. This of course might make it a little bit difficult and frustrating to guess what the other person is drawing, especially if they draw in sequences or they just aren't very good at drawing. Apologies to the people who have faced. I'm, I'm just, I, I, I'm a pretty good drawer, okay? I give you guys good drawings and you guys just chicken scratch all over. It's fun though, still fun, still fun. And while you're in game, there's also no way to leave to the main menu. You either solve or you pass, which then breaks your streak. Drawing wise, it would be nice if you can zoom in, especially if you have smaller screens. Worst of all, the game doesn't seem to push notifications properly. For example, I might be waiting on the other person, but in actuality, it's my turn to draw or my turn to guess. And in order to continue with the game, I have to close the app and then reopen it to click that uh, the green get ready button, you know, get ready to be destroyed by my awesome drawing or, or guessing skills. And speaking of whatever I was just talking about, I'm going to take some time to thank our wonderful friends at Domain.com. Domain.com is perfect for that moment when genius strikes and you need to snag a domain name fast. It's one-stop shopping for those needing to start a brand new website, a business, a blog, or internet-altering social mobile mega app Godzilla. Oh my god, there's Totoro right over there. See? Domain.com quickly shows you available domain names, making it easy to select the domain extension that's right for you. Their easy checkout process is super smooth, leaving you ready to create. Plus, they have one-click installations of popular applications such as WordPress or Joomla, making it easy for you to start your own website. Once that site is up, Domain.com, state-of-the-art infrastructure and 24-7 NOC have your website covered no matter how much traffic you can throw at it. The guys at Domain.com love Techno Buffalo and are giving you guys guys, our fans, 15% off when you use the coupon code TB at their checkout. Plus, if you go to domain.com slash TB, they'll throw in a free 2 gigabyte jump drive, available while supplies last. And don't forget, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Back to the review. Overall, Draw Something is an absolute blast, even with all of the downsides that I mentioned earlier. It would be cool if they can add a time limit mode, maybe an ability to create timed games. Also, make the words a little bit harder, maybe with categories like animals, objects, people. Only time will tell, but for now, 4 out of 5. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Now go draw something!